What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, compare games from tabletop to video games and today we are finally answering a question that we've been asked a lot and that is who will win a COD deck or Dragon Link. So in today's match we have our Snakes versus Dragons and Dragons are quite good especially when it wins a World Championship. This is definitely a deck that we can't underestimate. But surprisingly, we did actually switch a few things in our card deck. If you notice, we're actually only playing 40 cards now. So we cut down the 60 to 40. And we're still playtesting with it quite a bit. But so far, it's showing a lot of promise. So looking forward towards tweaking it a lot more, especially once we get the new support. But before we begin, for the reminder, as always, to like and subscribe. Because it really helps the channel a lot. And I do really appreciate it. So let's get started right into it. Okay, so we are going, let's see, first, because we're that good at this game. Okay, so our opening hand, we have a black, we have our abs, we have our boot sector, which is like, eh. Star leaves, also mixed, since we have the shadow light already. Our opponent has a nice little ass, a assault synchron, a rocket tracer, a tuning, and a boot sector launch. Now, I have seen quite a bit of uh, Dragon Link players actually playing this for extra extensions, but it's not really too necessary. Okay, so we're going to start with going into our main phase. We're going to start with a star leash. Use the effect to discard the abs and our opponent's thinking. It's fine. So we're going to get our Noctal Vision and the abs is going to trigger to get us our Tracer. So right off the back, we're already plusing, which is quite nice. So now for our next step, we're going to link it for just a Striker Dragon. And then we're going to go and trigger the Noctal Vision to spell summon it. And then we're going to link those two. So Nocto is going to be chain link one. Rom is going to be chain link two because we really don't want to draw into the dragon ravine. And we don't really need the dragon ravine. So not really too necessary at this point. So our opponent ashes it for us. That's perfect. So we're going to go draw one. Next, we're going to use boot, activate boots, plus summon the rocket tracer. Then we're going to spell summon the black. And then we're going to activate the shadow light targeting the black. So we get another star lease. So we still have another star lease in our grave in case if we have a levy to bring back to hand. Next, we're going to go and just synchro those two, trigger our black, get our white. Now we're going to use Cypherm Lord Omega since our opponent's already down by one card. Let's make him even less. So we're going to go and do exactly that. So banish the Assault Synchron, which is very good. We're going Special. And then we're going to Overlay for our favorite guy, King of the Pharaoh Imps. So activate King of the Pharaoh Imps. So we're going to actually search for Nunu, not Naya. Because since we have Shadow Light and we get additional Normal Summit, we could actually just make another King of the Pharaoh Imp. So we're going to be using Zora to add to hand. Now Shadow Light. To go and normal summon once again. Then new new. I love Shadow Light. Two additional normal summons. So good. Even though you lose your battle phase. It's still a really good card. So now we're going to go and add the Naya finally. And our grave is pretty much all set up. Just because we drew into the queen so early. Uh, we definitely could have drew into other stuff. That would have been a lot better. But at least it is where it is. So we're going to actually start hand ripping a little bit more now. So we're going to do our little Odotic Water Lily. Then we're going to go and do that effect. Spell Summon the Zora. Go and activate King. We're going to tribute the Naya and the King of the Pharaoh Imps. And then we're going to activate the Queen. So tributing those two. Now we're keeping our Rom just in case if we want like mix Saruja or a Heraldic Seal. Something like that. So now we're going to trigger the Zora. So our opponent's going to draw cards. Send a card. We're going to go add and send. We're going to trigger King to go send a random card. So we go and now we're going to trigger a queen to spell summon the overlord. And then we're going to go and make zombie vampire, which is going to go and trigger. And we're going to go and foolish. And ooh, that was nice foolishes. Okay. So we're going to go and get our favorite dragon now. So we're going to trigger the effect and we're going to link those two for a dark charmer. Use the effect of dark charmer. Go special tracer. And we won't use Tracer's effect because it's not really too necessary. And we're going to go and just link Synchro for Be Still, Spell Summon the Cypher Lord Omega. Use the effect to banish one more card. So we're all set from there. Okay. So our opponent only has Boot Sector launch, which is nice. And then on our end phase, we are going to add a Dress Worm, which is very, very good, especially since we have our. Overlord, which acts as like an A Zeus, if you're not familiar. So, 
yeah, decent hand ripping. And then we have the Beastail, Azus, and a Drill Swarm. So we have definitely more interruptions uh, than our opponent's going to have. So they draw into Drill Swarm, which we're completely fine with. And then he's going to go and use that effect. Which is fine because we're going to trigger our own and just target the same card because we don't mind. And then our opponent just scoops, so we're all set. Now we're going into game two, so definitely excited. And what we have is two Chaos Spaces. Ugh. We have a Curse, we have a Chaos Dragon Levineer, we have a White Dragon, and then, like I said, Chaos Space. Our opponent has a Recharger, a Primal Being, a Haunted Mansion, a Drone Lockbird, and a Chaos Space. So their hand is very good. If they went second, they definitely had a very big uh, advantage. But even going first, that's actually a really good hand. Okay. So our opponent's thinking they're going to go and use the Chaos Space to ditch and then go and add. They yeah, add Liberion. Honestly, I would have done more. I would have done a lot of like. Dragon Link plays. I would actually added if he does have it the uh, white and start going from there. Because then, if you like at least like draw now, then does completely like nothing. But uh, yeah. So he's going to go Liberion instead. So he's going to ditch it, get Magna Mutt. Because at least with the Dragon Review and the other stuff, you could potentially follow towards that play. So you could actually lean towards doing like the B Steals after if you decide to do the striker and then the ROM. So yeah. So they're going to go Magna Mod, go banish the recharger, and then they're going to trigger the effect. So then they get a free add at the end phase. And then they're going to use the Liberion. Okay, trigger the Liberion to activate a trap or spell. There we go. And then we're just going to do this. Okay. So this is just going fast support. So in phase, they're going to get the Jurus Worm. Yeah, I have to stop uh, clicking the keep going because uh, for some reason it screws up the whole thing for the replays. So sorry about that. Okay, so they add the Jurus Worm and then it's out turn. And we're just going to go and pause that, do this. So everything's back on track and now we can start playing. Which is very, very nice. Okay, so next play, we're going to go and activate Nunu to go and fill us a dark. There we go. And then we're going to use Chaos Space to ditch the curse to add. And we're going to meet a nice little draw at this point. There we go. So we can't really do much, which is fine. So we're going to activate Curse to go and cost. And then they're going to Ghost Spell, which we're like, mm, okay. Okay, our next play is we're going to banish for a black. Waiting for our opponent if he has a response. Okay. We're going to go and banish the special B white now. And we're waiting for our opponent. So he's going to do Drawer Swarm now, which is not so bad. So asking my opponent if he's doing anything. And nope. So we're going to make Babuska. And fun fact about Babuska, it cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects in attack mode. Yeah, so, yeah, um, this attack position card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this attack position card with card effects. Really, really good, especially for Cash Steerer. This is actually a very good card. Okay. So he cannot target, so we're going to put his monster back. And then we're going to go into battle phase and swing. So we're going to take 900. And then we're going to do the best play ever, make a Azus, and then trigger the effect of Azus. Okay, they're going to use the Drew Swarm to go and do that. And we are missing a few dark. So I didn't want to do Chaos Levin here right away, just in case. But it was a bit of a gamble, but yeah. So now we're passing to our opponent, seeing what he drew. He drew into another nib, oof, which is brutal. We draw into quick launch, which is even better. Activate quench, quick launch, go special, and then we're gonna go and link, make our striker dragon, go use striker dragon effect to add the boot, and then use the second effect of striker dragon to go add the tracer, and then we're gonna activate boot to go and special, and then we're gonna trigger 
or tracer to target boot and then we're going to go and special and then we're going to go and link so this is actually the uh interesting part so i want to use the effect and my opponent like and he's like no i want to do something on summon which i was completely fine with so instead he nips on summon which is definitely a big misplay because you're going to see exactly what we're going to do now so we're going to go and suppose summon the token now we're going to do chaos levenir to banish three darks shuffle back his nib okay there we go. Now we're going to go use Chaos Space to put back the Dark Charmer. And then we're going to resummon the Dark Charmer uh, once again. We drew into Drew Swarm, which is very good. So we're going to go use uh, Dark Charmer to go and supposed to summon the Magna Mutt. Use the effect so on our end phase, we're going to add a Dragon. Then we're going to go and supposed to summon the Drew Swarm. We didn't really need to supposed to summon. I just did it right now. And then we're going to swing. So we're going to take 1150, use the effect. And then add a rocket tracer because we didn't normal summon because we started to play with quick launch. And then we're going to go and normal summon the tracer, go make beast steel, then use draw swarm to sand, and then use this guy. And we're going to go overlay these two just for zombie vampire so they don't get back. And we won't use the effect since our opponent doesn't really have much. Uh, I didn't want to give him more options, so we're not using an effect. Instead, we're just going to go into end phase to add, and we're going to add our Baldrick instead. And then pass to our opponent. They drew into tuning, so they're going to use Chaos Space to put back, which is completely fine. And then we're going to go and let our opponent just do tuning, so they get Assault Synchron. They're going to go and Foolish Mill, and that's it for the match. Yeah, so... Cod one, there was definitely uh, some misplay. Like honestly, like maybe I shouldn't have banished the the guy. I don't know. He had something else, anyways. Yeah. So yeah, pretty uh decent. I actually do like it. It's definitely like whoever has B still is pretty much winning. I do like that I have like more follow up though. So if I have like the snakes already like in a graveyard and set up then at least for my follow-up plays it's a lot easier just to spell summon them from the grave to the field and also like depending on situations sometimes we could still play on a draw like if we have snake rain we could still do some plays so it's not the end of the world for that but yeah definitely i do enjoy this deck a lot and definitely practicing a lot more there is a few consistency that i'm still trying out at the moment the deck uh it seems good. I have no complaints. And that's it for today's match. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review here on the channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.